Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Topic 9 different session lecture 4 of 4 part 2 of 4 At the end of the lesson students should be able to solve the first and the second derivative implicitly Example 2 Given that equation of a curve is 3x squared plus 4y squared equals to 15xy minus 6. Find the value of dy dx and d squared y dx squared at a point 1, 3. Firstly, we need to write the equation of the curve that is 3x squared plus 4y squared equals to 15xy minus 6. Now, we are going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, we will differentiate left side and right side with respect to x. Differentiate left side, we will get 6x plus 4 times 2 is 8y. Then, you have to differentiate y followed by dy dx is equals to 15x 15x I will let as a u then differentiate y this is u and y is v differentiate y you will get dy dx plus okay we copy paste y differentiate 15x the answer is 15 close the bracket differentiate 6 the answer is 0 okay so now we will combine all the term that has dy dx so we have 8y dy dx then you have to minus 15x dy dx and you have to combine all the term that that do not have dy dx that is 15x uh, 15y minus 6x okay then you factor rise dy dx then the remaining term is 8y minus 15x is equals to 15y minus 6x then dy dx is equals to 15y minus 6x over 8y minus 15x. This is dy dx. Now we will factorize the term that has dy dx that is dy dx multiply with in the bracket we have 8y minus 15x. On our right side we have 15y minus 6x. I call this equation as a first equation. Okay, so now we will differentiate first equation. Okay, so we will differentiate equation 1. So to differentiate equation 1, you need to let dy dx as a u and 8y minus 15x as v so we will use product rule here okay so now, now we start to differentiate u you have to copy dy dx so dy dx u multiply with v prime you need to differentiate v that is differentiate 8y the answer is 8 differentiate y followed by dy dx and then minus 15x differentiate min, uh, 15x the answer is 15 okay then plus you have to copy v okay remember product rule that is u v prime plus v u prime so now what is v v is equals to 8y minus 15x then differentiate u we have u prime means we have to differentiate dy dx here differentiate dy dx the answer is 
d squared y dx squared. Okay, so now I already differentiate on my left side. So differentiate right side. Differentiate 15y. So the answer is 15. Differentiate y is dy dx minus differentiate 6x. The answer is 6. Okay, now we will expand this equation. So we will get 8dy dx squared minus 15 dy dx plus 8y 8y minus 15x d squared y dx squared is equals to 15 dy dx minus 6 then I will combine 15 dy dx here okay so we have 8 dy dx squared plus this, this one 8 y minus 15 x multiply with d squared y dx squared is equals to 15 by dx minus uh, plus 15 minus x we have 30 30 dy dx minus 6 okay remember the question asks you to find dy dx at a point 1 3 so you need to find what is the value for dy dx equals what is the value for dy dx at a point 1 3 Okay, so to find this value, you need to substitute 1 and 3 into equation 1. Substitute the point 1, 3 into equation 1. Into equation 1. Okay, so now I will substitute the point 1, 3 that is x equal to 1, y equal to 3 into equation 1. Equation 1 is equals to dy dx 8y minus 15x is equals to 15y minus 6x. So you sub what is the point 1 and 3. So you will get dy dx multiply with 8 times 3 minus 15 times 1 is equals to 15 times 3 minus 6 times 1 so you will get dy dx is equals to 24 minus 15 now multiply 15 is equals to 45 minus 6 therefore dy dx is equals to 39 over 9 or you can simplify to get 13 over 3 okay this is the value of dy dx remember at the point 1 3 1 3 okay so now we want to find out what is the value of d squared y dx squared at a point 1 3 also okay so you need to use the value that we just get just now that is the value for dy dx at a point 1 3 that is equals to 13 over 3 and we also want to substitute the value of x and y that is x equals to 1 and y into 3 you have to sub these two value into d squared y dy dx okay sub into equation uh, second equation that we get just now so I call the equation 
second equation okay now I will write again the second equation or second derivative that we get just now that is y multiply with dy dx squared plus 8y minus 15x 15x multiply with d squared y dx squared is equals to 30 dy dx minus 6 so this equation I call second equation okay so now we will substitute x equals to 1 and y equals to 3 and the value for dy dx at a point 1 3 as 13 over 3 okay in we will substitute into equation 2 into second equation so now we will get 8 dy dx squared the answer is 13 over 3 plus 8 the value for y is 3 minus 15 times 1 multiply with d squared y dx squared is equals to 13 dy dx is 13 over 3 then minus 6 so we simplify to get 9 if you solve this is equation you get 9 this one the answer is 9 9 d squared y dx squared is equals to negative 236 over 9 therefore d squared y dx squared is equals to negative 236 over 81 this is the value of dy dx at a point 1 3 okay so i hope you try to understand uh, what we have learned in second derivative here thank you okay now we continue example three given that xy is equals to sine 3x show that x multiply with d squared y dx squared plus 2 dy dx plus 9 xy equals to zero so the question here give you something and the question asks you to show something okay so you have to differentiate the equation given implicitly okay so now we will differentiate The question, the equation implicitly. With respect to x. Okay. So how to differentiate implic implicitly with respect to x? So firstly, we write the question again xy is equals to sine 3x so now you have to differentiate left side with respect to x that is xy differentiate with respect to x and you have to differentiate right side also with respect to x okay now we will differentiate by using product rule here x we will let as a u y will be v so u v prime plus v u prime plus v 
u prime so if u is equals to x then you copy u x then what is v prime differentiate y dy dx plus copy paste y differentiate u that is x the answer is 1 okay so equals to differentiate trigonometric ratio differentiate sine 3x so with respect to x so the answer is cos 3x then you have to differentiate 3x with respect to x the answer is 3 so i write 3 in front okay so now uh you need to differentiate one more time with, with respect to x okay now i will write the equation given that is x y equals to sine 3 x i will let as a first equation okay then just now we just get the value for first derivative that is x dy dx plus y equals to 3 cos 3x okay this is the value for i call it second equation so now we need to differentiate one more time with respect to x okay so we will differentiate again with respect to x okay so d dx x dy dx plus y when you want to differentiate you have to write the, the operator here d dx it's not dy dx yeah so d dx means you want to differentiate differentiate what is the equation 3 cos 3x okay so now we are going to differentiate as usual i will let x as u dy dx as v so i will copy paste x differentiate y what is the derivative of dy dx d squared y dx squared then i will copy paste v that is dy dx then differentiate x the answer is 1 okay equals to differentiate 3 cos 3x so 3 is u cos 3x is v so copy paste u that is 3 differentiate cos 3x the answer is negative sine 3x then you have to differentiate 3x differentiate 3x the answer is 3 so i put 3 in front okay close the bracket plus copy paste cos 3x then differentiate 3 the answer is 0 so actually you don't have to write this one okay so now Simplify, you will get x d squared y dx squared plus dy dx is equals to negative 9 sine 3x. Okay, so now take a look at the question. The question asks you to show that you will get something. You will get the new equation that contained d squared y dx squared dy dx and we have uh, 9xy okay so it seems like we need to eliminate sine 3x so how to eliminate sine 3x here then then we need to substitute sine 3x with the first equation given the first equation so you need to substitute equation one here okay so what is sine 3x from equation one we will see that 
sine 3x is equal to sine 3x is equal to x y isn't it okay so we simplify to get x d squared y d x squared plus Okay, now we simplify the equation to get x d squared y dx squared plus 2 dy dx plus 9 multiply with sine 3x is equals to 0. So we nearly get the, the answer but you need to substitute sine 3x with the first equation okay so remember our first equation given given that xy is equals to sine 3x so you need to substitute sine 3x here with xy therefore x d squared y dx squared plus 2 dy dx plus 9 you substitute sine with xy is equals to 0 so we already shown what is the question asked here okay we will continue example 4 the curve x cube plus y cube equals to kx plus 2y passes through the point 1, negative 1. A. Determine the value of the constant k. B. Find the value of dy dx at a point 1, negative 1. And C. Show that 3y squared minus 2 multiply with d squared y dx squared plus 6y multiply with dy dx squared plus 6x is equals to 0. So we have three questions to be answered here. So, we start with A first. A cube minus kx plus 2y. So, what we need to do is, we just substitute the value of x equals to 1 and y equals to negative 1 into the equation of the curve. Then, we will get the value for k is 2. Okay? Okay, now we will continue b we just get the value for k that is k equals to 2 yeah so substitute k equals to 2 then we will get x cube plus y cube is equals to 2x plus 2y now we will differentiate the equation with respect to x so now differentiate left side with respect to x and differentiate right side also with respect to x differentiate x cube the answer is 3x squared plus differentiate y cube the answer is this is, this is implicit differentiation we get 3y squared and differentiate y followed by dy dx is equals to differentiate 2y the answer is 2 uh, sorry differentiate 2x the answer is 2 differentiate 2y the answer is 2 dy dx now I will combine the term that have dy dx so 3y squared dy dx minus 2 dy dx is equals to 2 minus 3x squared then we factorize dy dx we have inside the bracket is 3y squared minus 2 is equals to 2 minus 3x squared then therefore we get dy dx is equals to 2 minus 3x squared over 
3y squared minus 2. This is the answer for dy dx. The question asks, what is the value for dy dx? At a point, 1, negative 1. So, now we will substitute at a point, 1, negative 1. dy dx is equals to Two minus three times one squared over three times negative one squared minus two, and the answer is two minus three over three minus two, and the answer is negative one. Now we continue to see. Show that. 3y squared minus 2, d squared y dx squared plus 6y, dy dx squared plus 6x equals to 0. So, we start with, write the equation of the curve given, that is x squared plus x cubed plus y cubed equals to 2x plus 2y. Then, we just get the first derivative of a function that is 3y squared minus 2 dy dx is equals to 2 minus 3 x squared so i will let this one is the first equation and the first derivative is the second equation so we will do the second differentiation to get the d squared y dx squared. Now, to do the second differentiation, I will let 3y squared minus 2 as u and dy dx as v. Okay. Then you will get u multiply, multiply with v prime, so 3y squared minus 2 Multiply with v prime, differentiate dy dx. The answer is d squared y dx squared plus copy paste dy dx. Then differentiate 3y squared minus 1. The answer is 6y, and you need to follow by dy dx. Is equals to differentiate 2, the answer is 0. Differentiate negative 3x squared, the answer is negative 6x. So this is the third equation. Then simplify the equation and you have to take a look at the equation that you want to show. What you need to do is you have to bring negative 6x to the left side. Okay, therefore, the final step is 3y squared minus 2 multiply with d squared y dx squared plus 6y and we have 2 times dy dx here. We have dy dx 2 times so dy dx squared. Okay, then you bring negative cx to the left therefore plus 6x equals to 0 so we have already show that we get now we continue c show that 3y squared minus 2 d squared y dx squared plus 6y dy dx squared plus 6x equals to 0 so we start with write the equation of a curve given that is x squared plus x cubed plus y cubed equals to 2x plus 2y then we just get the first derivative of a function that is 3y squared minus 2 
d y dx is equals to 2 minus 3 x squared so I will let this one is the first equation and the first derivative is the second equation so we will do the second differentiation to get the d squared y dx squared now to do the second differentiation I will let 3y squared minus 2 as u and dy dx as v okay then you will get u multiply multiply with v prime so 3y squared minus 2 multiply with v prime differentiate dy dx the answer is d squared y d x squared plus copy paste dy dx then differentiate 3y squared minus 1 the answer is 6y and you need to follow by dy dx is equals to differentiate 2 the answer is 0 differentiate negative 3x squared the answer is negative 6x so this is the third equation then simplify the equation and you have to take a look at the equation that you want to show what you need to do is you have to bring negative 6x to the left side okay therefore the final step is 3y squared minus 2 multiply with d squared y dx squared plus 6y and we have 2 times dy dx here we have dy dx 2 times so dy dx squared okay then you bring negative cx to the left therefore plus 6x equals to 0 so we have already show that we get the equation okay thank you now we continue c show that 3y squared minus 2 d squared y dx squared plus 6y dy dx squared plus 6x equals to 0 so we start with write the equation of a curve given that is x squared plus x cubed plus y cubed equals to 2x plus 2y then we just get the first derivative of a function that is 3y squared minus 2 dy dx is equals to 2 minus 3x squared so I will let this one is the first equation and the first derivative is the second equation so we will do the second differentiation to get the d squared y dx squared now to do the second differentiation i will let 3y squared minus 2 as u and dy dx as v okay then you will get u multiply multiply with v prime so 3y squared minus 2 multiply with v prime differentiate dy dx the answer is d squared y d x squared plus copy paste dy dx then differentiate 3y squared minus 1 the answer is 6y and you need to follow by dy dx is equals to differentiate 2 the answer is 0 differentiate negative 3 x squared the answer is negative 6 x so this is the third equation then simplify the equation 
and you have to take a look at the equation that you want to show what you need to do is you have to bring negative 6x to the left side okay therefore the final step is 3y squared minus 2 multiply with d squared y dx squared plus 6y and we have 2 times dy dx here we have dy dx 2 times so dy dx squared okay then you bring negative cx to the left therefore plus 6x equals to 0 so we have already show that we care thank you